Hey guys, welcome back to the channel on this very warm Sunday morning in July. I've got something incredibly cool for you. At least I think it's pretty cool. Today I've got the Gorilla Series X from Sega Design. Uh, this is the titanium and gold model. Uh, its model number is X021-BLGO. Uh, I think it's pretty cool, man. Not my normal type of watch that I would wear, uh, but I actually like this one a lot. I really do, genuinely like this watch. Let's check it out. All right, guys, we'll get into this thing, but first check out my Amazon shopping channel. If you like this or any of the other watches I've reviewed on my channel, this is actually available on Amazon as well as Sega Designs website. As you know, I get a very small commission if you buy from my Amazon store. So if you do so, I definitely, definitely appreciate it. So really cool packaging from Sega. Uh, this is actually, the packaging is just you know, almost as famous as the watch. Really cool, it's like a hardcover book. As you can see, it's embossed. There is the Gorilla right there embossed on the cover. If you look right here, it says Sega Design. It's like a gold, uh, or I'm sorry, not gold, uh, like a silver paint right there. Really heavy, thick. It looks like really, I mean, it feels like a, a hardcover book. It's pretty cool. Look on the back, see some other stuff here, all their social media stuff, made in China, yada, yada, yada. Honestly, guys, when Sega contacted me about this watch, I was a little skeptical. I was like, eh, you know, okay. I mean, I'll take a look at it. If they're going to be nice enough to send me one, I'll go ahead and take a look at it. Now, this uh, hardcover book, I'll have to be honest with you, is kind of hard to get out here. All right, come on. I might have to mess with this for a second to get it out. There we go. I got, I got it. All right, so let's go ahead and take the slip cover off. So there's that. Here's the front right there. Sega Design Mechanical Watch X Series Great Ape. Let me show you. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, so you open the book up. First, hold on. Open it up. There you go. You get a little hole right there. You can see the movement where the tenacious features dare to be <laughs> capricious. <laughs> okay. All right, a whole bunch of design awards. I don't know if these are legit design awards. I have no idea. Or if all this stuff is made up. Who knows if they actually won, you know, actual design, you know, awards. Maybe they did. Who knows? All right, so you open it up. Here is the movement. You get two different straps, uh, which is pretty cool. You get a silicon strap right here, and you get a nylon NATO right there. Both of these are 22 millimeter. You go ahead and pop the watch out. And get it. There you go. Really cool, man. Really, really interesting watch. I haven't taken the little um, plastic stickers off the front crystal or the back crystal yet. I don't know. I don't know. I might wear this one later. I don't know. We'll see. Interesting, interesting watch. All right. So there is that. I'll go ahead and take off the, I'll take out the silicone strap. I'll go ahead and pop that on and try this on for you a little bit later. Uh, I'll leave the NATO in there. Let's go ahead and put this to the side. Really neat packaging, man. God, this thing is really thick and heavy. Really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and put that over there. Let's put the strap over here momentarily. Let me go ahead and bring up the watch. Again, you can see the little red stripe right there. Again, I haven't taken off the stickers. There's the crown. There's a little Gorilla Great Ape um, laser etching right there. It's an interesting watch, man. You know what I might do, guys? Let me go ahead and put the straps on real quick first. And then uh, let me go ahead and review it, so that way I can you know I can try it on later in the review um, without having to worry about it. All right, let me go ahead and pause the video. I'll be back in just one second. All right, guys, I'm back. So here you go. I went ahead and put the strap on. Really nice, soft, supple strap. Only problem is it's a little bit too short for my eight inch wrist. It's probably about about an inch or two, I'm guessing. Uh, but super soft. Obviously, you got tons of different uh, holes in there. You're gonna use the middle holes for all of your uh, for your tang and buckle right there. So right there, so you got plenty of adjustment there. Again, it's just the strap is just a little bit too small for me. But uh, I mean, it feels great. It feels really, really soft. Nice tang and buckle, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and go over the seven specs you need to know, and then uh, we'll talk more about this 
very interesting offering from Sega Design. Uh, you're looking at a 48 millimeter titanium uh, DLC coated, so diamond light carbon coating, and all the stuff you see in gold is actual 18 karat gold electroplated onto those uh, onto that inner um, movement right there. So anything you see, it looks like gold is actually 18 karat gold plated. Obviously not solid gold, you know, nothing like that, but it is gold plated. So very interesting, man. Uh, thickness you're looking at, 11.8 millimeters thick, uh, lug to lug, uh, basically it's 48, just like the case size. Uh, again, both of these straps are 22 millimeters. You get this silicon one that it's on right now, and you get that nylon NATO. Uh, water resistance is only 30 meters, which of course is about 99 feet or about 100 feet. Uh, so you don't want to go diving with this, nothing, you know, no strenuous water activities, no jet skis, no, you know, diving off a diving board. Uh, you can swim with it, you can wash it, but, you know, don't don't try to stress it out. Uh, the movement is a CD1, which I'm assuming stands for Sega Design. I'm, a, you know, I'm positive, some sort of Seiko Instruments movement, or maybe some sort of Citizen Miyota movement, uh, one of those two possibly. Uh, you do get about a 40-hour power reserve on it. Uh, you get a sapphire crystal in the front and a mineral crystal in the back. And, of course, all the other stuff, check out down there in the description field, uh, and I'll explain it to you and list everything you need to see. So the main crown's got a big C on it for your Sega design. It's got like a turbine look to it. Pretty cool. And then over here, you got the ape right there. There you go. How, how does it, how does he, uh, I think it's looking like that. I can't tell. I think it's like this. Anyway, there's the ape right there. Uh, the watch, and I don't know if y'all are going to be able to see this or not. I'm going to try to show you. It's actually suspended on four springs. There's an outer case and an inner case. And I don't know if we're going to be able to see it. But right here where the four screws are, there are four individual little red springs right there. To kind of, it's like a suspension for like a car, like a truck or an SUV. And that's kind of what they were going for. So the case is kind of suspended, so that helps it absorb any sort of shocks. And man, I'm trying to find, let me get out my trusty, let's see if I can get my flashlight here. Let me take a look at this thing real quick. Yeah, those screws guys are super hard to see, but they're, I'm sorry, those springs are super hard to see, but they're right underneath each screw right there. Pretty interesting. Of course, you can see right through the movement. It's a skeletonized movement. Um, there are no there are no like uh, indexes uh, for the hands to hit. What it basically is these little indentations. Like there's one right there. There's one in the middle, and there's one right there. And then you get another one here, another one here, another one here. So those are basically your hour marker. So your start right here. It's your hour marker right there. Your first little indentation would be right there. So that's one o'clock, and then two o'clock, three o'clock. 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, uh, 9 o'clock obviously over here, and then 10 right there, and then 11 is right on this indentation right there. I don't know if y'all can see that very well, but that's how you tell the time. Uh, the only problem with this watch, obviously guys, uh, if well first of all, it feels incredible. Well first of all, I want to thank Sega for sending me this watch. I really, really do appreciate it. Again, not normally the type of watch I review on this channel, uh, but I said, you know what, let's go ahead, you know, I don't know, let's, let's give it a shot. These came out about a year ago. Uh, Sega sent me this, I don't know, about a month or so ago. I've just gotten around to reviewing it. First thing is it does feel very well built. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, incredibly impressed that it feels like a quality watch. Sometimes when you get these brands from China, you're like, eh, I don't know. But this actually feels like a very, very nice watch. It feels very well built. Um, again, not my personal style. I don't like skeletonized watches. I'm just not, I'm just more of a dive. Y'all you, you know me. I like to review dive watches, but this is so well built. I mean, this is something I might actually wear. Uh, of course it's made out of titanium and stainless steel. So it's incredibly light. The movement itself only weighs about 57 grams with the two straps. You're coming in at 77 grams total. Um, but the main thing about this thing, I mean, it does feel very well built, but Tell me what time it is real quick, guys. I mean, it's <laughs> it's hard to tell. So if you don't mind taking a few seconds to figure out what time it is, just because the minute and hour hands blend in 
with the skeletonized design so well, it's really hard to tell at a quick glance what time it is, man. And you know me. I mean, I like dive watches. I like I like dive watches that are incredibly legible. This, not so much. This is a fashion watch. So you're just going to take you a few seconds to figure out what time it is. So it looks like it's, I'm guessing, 5.30, yeah. So there's the tip of the hour hand. There's the tip of the minute hand. Of course, you can see the running seconds right there. Even the second hand, even though it's red, it kind of blends in. But, I mean, it's it's really cool to look at. So maybe that's kind of the point. You know, you want to take a few seconds to kind of admire the watch, see what time it is. You can also see the main barrel right up here, the barrel spring. So when the watch is fully wound, that barrel spring will appear solid. When it's not wound, you'll see the layers inside of there. I think on some of these models, they colored that side of the spring red. So when it was unwound, it was like a, it was like almost like a see-through disc, like a red see-through disc. And then it was totally wound. All those layers came together, and it made like a solid color red circle right there. So you can definitely tell when the watch needs to be wound or when it's wound tightly with right now. It just looks like a solid disc because all those layers are, you know, like, like a layers in an onion. They're all compacted right next to each other. So it looks solid because it's, it's fully wound. So it's, it's an interesting watch, man. I don't, you know, again, you know, it's not going to be for everybody. Um, but I think, I think some of y'all are really going to like it. It's not a cheap watch. So I think these are what about 440 bucks. If you head on over to Amazon, you get this one for 440. Of course, you can head on over to Sega Designs website uh, as well, and I'll go ahead and put all those links down there in the description field for you. But I think it's cool. I think it's cool enough to warrant buying it, guys. I mean, honestly, it really does feel like a good watch, and I'm not just saying that because they sent me one. Um, I like it. I might not choose this particular colorway. I would probably get the silver and the blue. In fact, let me go ahead and put that up on the left hand side of the screen for you. I think that's a great looking watch. I'm not, I'm just not a big black, like IP coated black watch or a gold watch person. That's just not me. But that silver one over there, that is really cool. That's titanium as well. I think there's only two models that are titanium, the silver and blue, and then this one. Uh, these are both titanium. And they're about, I don't know, about $70 more than the regular watches. Uh, but I just, I think it's a cool watch. I think the execution is really neat. The little springs on the case. Is that kind of gimmicky? Eh, a little bit. But it really feels well built. You got a nice rotor right there. Custom decorated rotor. Of course, you can see everything inside. You can see the watch ticking away there. There you go. I think it's cool. I mean, I think it's really cool. Let me go ahead and pull out the crown. It's a non-screw down crown. Let me pull this thing out. Okay, so it does hack, which is nice. And that gold really does shimmer in the light. And that's real 18 karat gold, by the way. So guys, you know, I'm not really used to reviewing watches like this. Tell me what y'all think. I mean, normally I go over different specs and different, you know, different features of the watch. But this doesn't have a date feature, you know, doesn't have a day feature. It just, I mean, it just tells the time. And it's really more of a fashion watch. So I'm a little at a loss for kind of what y'all would want to see with this thing, what y'all would want discussed with this watch. I mean, it just it feels really, really solid, though, which I like. I like the strap, too, even though it is a little too short for me. Nice buckle. It's a cool-looking watch, man. Really, really cool. Again, I tried on, but it's a little bit too small for me. So let's go ahead and check out this loom. I think y'all are really going to like this. Let me kill a studio light. Let me kill one of my new monitors here. just got some brand-new monitors. All right, now check this out. This is pretty cool. Watch this. You can see the bridges are lighting up as well. The X for Series X. There you go. That's pretty cool. See, again, only problem is even the hour hand kind of blends in right there with that X. So it's, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge to see what time it is quickly with this watch, guys. But really cool. I mean, a cool idea. I think maybe they put different colors on the hands. I think that would help us out tremendously. Like make the hands white or make the hands red or something just so they can kind of stand out against all of the skeletonized background and stuff. But that's really cool, man. I like it. Makes it look like it's radioactive. Pretty cool. So guys, I really, really want to know your thoughts on this. Do you hate it? Do you love it? Uh, I can guarantee you, that this watch is very well built. It's not, you know, a piece of crap. I promise you that. 
So if you want to get one, you know, get one knowing that you're really going to get a very nice watch. I mean, I'm, I was really impressed by the construction and build quality of this thing. Really impressed. So don't worry about that. If you want to get it, if you like the look of it, go out there and get one. Maybe get that blue one instead of this one. Uh, they come in a couple different colors. Again, the, just the all stainless steel models are a little bit cheaper. And again, I'll put all of those links down there for you uh, in the description field. Guys, that's been about it for this one, man. As always, if you like what you see and you you know enjoy my content, make sure you like and subscribe and click that notification bell. I really, really appreciate when you do that. And guys, I mean, tell me what you think of this thing, man. It's really an interesting watch. Very, very cool. All right, guys, until the next review, I will see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye.